What's up guys? Uh, it's me again and today I want to show you how to do freeze frame effect inside DaVinci Resolve 16. Uh, okay, so uh, let's jump into the DaVinci Resolve and uh, I try to walk you through uh, my process. Uh, we got this uh, clip right here. We want to freeze frame this, uh, this effect. Uh, him jumping into these pants, so we need to um, uh, choose the frame that we want to be um, freezed. Uh, now you have to duplicate this uh, this clip into the timeline by holding Alt or Option. Now click freeze frame, and now you have this frame just freezed. Now you can uh, highlight both the clips, right click it, add new fusion clip. So now let's go to fusion tab. Uh, I like to rename my uh, my notes just for the sake uh, to know what I'm dealing with. So this one is move. So let's rename it by pressing F2 or the right click it uh, and just rename it. Sorry, I have two monitors right now, so I have to drag this. Uh, let's name this um, move. Okay, and rename the second node. Um, it will be um, stale. So now uh, we know exactly what we have right here so in the right uh, monitor we have the steel one and in the left monitor we have the move one now we have to isolate the uh, the steel uh, steel frame by um, masking the rest of the the image so what we have to do right now is um, to go to uh, polygon tool right here and what happened is um, we have to invert the the polygon tool because uh, and on default it will be uh, not visible now I have uh, ability to uh, fast forward the um, polygon tool so you have only brief moment of me doing this and now what happened is uh, our subject disappeared so we have to invert this uh, once again and now we have just this uh, silhouette uh, as you can see and now what we have to do is to track something in our frame you need to find something that is visible through the the pan in my uh, in my case so we have to find find something that is uh, that is um, present within the frame so I will choose something like leaf or some uh, detail on the pavement and to do the tracking we need to uh, find a planner tracker put this uh, right in the middle between move and merge node and choose the the subject to track so in this case it will be something in the frame like leaf yes yeah, so we have some leaves and this this is the place where you can choose something to track okay. 
right there. Okay, so this leaf is always on the frame, in the frame. So we can choose this and we have set the, the re reference time and we can track back to the beginning, create a planner transform. Now we can delete the planner tracker that was uh, in the beginning between move and merge node. Uh, insert the planner, uh, our new planner tracker between steel and the merge. So we've got the uh, steel image pinned to uh, our frame. And now you can play back the footage and everything should be right in its place. So basically what we have done is um, we pin this image to this leaf in the frame. So, uh, th so this will stay at this place all the time. And now we have to get rid of uh, our subject. We have to find this place, keyframe it, move one uh, frame forward and change the level to zero. So the mask will totally disappear. And the final product will be just like this. So hope you liked this uh, video. If you liked it, please hit this like button. If you don't like it, please do whatever you want. And if you want to support this channel, uh, please hit subscribe button and uh, leave me a comment down below. Uh, last time I was uh, posting a video related to DaVinci Resolve. Uh, I made some mistakes with sound design. It was my fault uh, entirely not double checking what happened with the uh, soundtrack uh, within this, uh, this video. Uh, and you guys uh, pointed out in the comment section down below uh, and I was able to uh, fix that and post it once again. Uh, I, I have uh, I still have this video with your comments uh, and negative uh, feedback but let's face it I deserved it uh, so I don't want to hide this video I want to show you uh, what I did wrong and how bad it was and then I just removed the soundtrack uh, to uh, eliminate this interference with my voiceover uh, with this video and I hope this uh, this will do to uh, to fix this and and in future videos I will show you how to avoid uh, things like this to uh, to happen so uh, stay tuned and uh, in no time I will be posting uh, not tutorial related video from uh, my Aikido uh, part of uh, videography so stay tuned for that and once again hit subscribe button uh, check this notification bell and see you next time bye